hi and welcome again to another live i just thought i'd show this because easter's coming up and um i know my bestie helen loves rabbits so i just thought i'd show mr rabbit it's not a toy it's um chocolates <laughs> i saw this in action in the action supermarket i thought it was very cute so I do have something else to show you as well. The other thing I wanted to show you is the tub of celebrations. <gasps> it's a huge tub. So they do sell the normal huge tubs of celebrations. And then they have the cute rabbit. The cute rabbit I think was just under three euros. And then the big tub of celebrations was under seven euros. So these chocolates they sell them in the uk and mr rabbit is just too cute to eat <laughs> i purchased these from my family by the way because they're chocoholics so i have to hide them in my craft room until it's easter and then give them to my family for easter So I've shut the window because the birds are chirping but they were making too much chirping noises so you probably can't hear, hear me talking on the video then. So Mr Rabbit, I'll just turn Mr Rabbit around so you can have a look at him on the other side. He actually stands up. So it's a 3D rabbit so you can stand him up and there's the ingredients and things on the other side. So if I stand him this way you can actually read how much kilo calories so there's the best before date the second of the first 2022 and the exact grams in in mr rabbit is 215 grams and it tells you you can recycle the packaging and um, please place the packaging into the proper recycling place and here shows you what chocolates are inside so there's mars bars there's Twix, there's Snickers, there's Milky Way, there's Bounty, there's Galaxy, there's Maltesers and the different Galaxy. Let's move that across so I can read the ingredients for you. So it says in Netherlands and in Belgium, it tells you the ingredients there. So let's see if we can read it in German then, there's the German version. There's the French version. There's the Netherlands version. Where's the German version? Oh. Oh, I'll just have to read this part here then. So it says assortment van gewold milk chocolade. So I'll read it in Netherlands because Netherlands is basically Dutch. And Dutch is similar to German. So, assortment van gewold milk chocolate and biscuit in milk chocolate. Ingredient and sugar, glucose syrup, cacao butter, marga milk powder, cacao masa, buttered van milk lactose. So, I can't eat these chocolates because it's got milk in it. So I'm lactose intolerant. Palm fat, pinders, cocos, Y powder, van milk. Trau meal, sun and blooming, so that's sun and blooming, that sunflower, wool milk powder, mulgarite and soya lithotin. And it's got an E number in, which is probably I'm allergic to as well. Gistimota extract, marga, cacao, and so on and so on and so on. So let's read the ingredients on the celebrations box because it might have it in English. But I can read or German, maybe. So let's have a look at the bottom of the tin. Right, I'll just focus that on the rabbit while I read the tin. So it's got it in German, the writing, so I can read it actually. Sortiment aus Gefühle mit milk chocolade on cakes. So cakes is biscuits basically. In milk chocolade, Zutaten, ingredients, Zucker, sugar. Glucose syrup, that's quite straightforward, glucose syrup. Cacao butter, cocoa butter. Marga milk powder, that's milk powder. Cacao mass, that basically means the cocoa mass. Milch fat, that is milk fat. Lactose, that's straightforward. Palm fat. Erdnuss, which is um, peanuts. Cocos, which is cocoa, probably um, coconut. 
Wisen meal, white flour, which I can't have because I'm allergic to. Malkan pulver, which is um like kind of a milk. So it says milk. Sun and blooming oil, which is sunflower oil. Vol milk powder, full milk powder, which I'm allergic to. Emulgutarin, which is like some sort of emulsifier. Soya lecithin, E471, gust dirt and malta extract fetima cacao so fat cacao or something like that cocoa butter salt feucht halt mittel so some sort of uh, emulsifier glycerin aya ice rice pulver so egg white powder naturalist vanilla extracts so it's got vanilla extract back tree mittel some sort of kind of powder or something and then some e numbers it has um What's the other thing? Mm, Bactrian metal, milk, rice, rice and gluten. So it's got flour in it, which I'm allergic to. And it says it's got some of the allergies in it. Can have hazelnut, almonds, um, hafer, which is oats, milk, chocolate could have um, mostly 14% chocolate or 25% chocolate. And it says leave it in a cool, dry place. And then it tells you the fat content on here. So looking at the chocolates, energy, 100 grams. So fat, it has quite a high fat content. So basically don't eat too much of these kind of chocolates. Only have one or two of them maybe. <laughs> so the fat is 24 grams per 100 grams. So that's like a quarter. So... I don't know how many chocolates is 100 grams, but say if like eight chocolates is 100 grams. So eight chocolates is 100 grams. So I would say, let's see. Let's do it a bit more easier. So it says 24 grams, which is a quarter. So yeah. So two chocolates is 24 grams then basically if it, if it was 100 grams. So of which saturated, saturated fat is actually the worst part of the fat for you. So that's 15 grams. So that's quite high. Then the carbohydrate is 62 grams of which sugars. So if you've got diabetes or you suffer, suffer from a sugar disease, I would suggest you don't eat these chocolates. And then protein, it's got 5.4 grams and salt. So it says for reference for an adult, uh, it says 8,400, oh, 2,000 calories. So yeah, I think that's for a lady, but for a man, it's probably 2,500. Yeah, it's a big box of chocolate. So that's from a family, but they won't be eating it all in one go. So it's around tin and then the best before date is on there. 040421, so it's not got a lot. Actually, it's not got a long long date. I purchased this last week, so why has it only got a short date on it? I don't understand. I don't know why Action is selling things that have got a short date on it. 0404. And what date were we on last week? So we're on the 29th, I think, today. So I don't know why Action is selling nearly out of date stuff because this was nearly seven euros and this was three euros, but the best before date on this one is... Let me have a look at the best before date. So, yeah, the best before date on this one is 2022, which is, makes sense. But then the cho the actual chocolate box, which I bought at the same time, has a very short, um, short, um, what do you call it? Best before date. Because 4, 421, that's this year, 4, 4th of the 4th is not long because it's 29th today. So these chocolates are going to go out a day before it's even Easter. So I might have to give them to my family today to start eating. <laughs> so I might com well, can't complain because I've had it more than 8 days because otherwise I could have gone back and complained to Action and said, look, you're selling out of nearly out of date chocolates. But yes, I should have checked that in the store. I should have checked the, the date on it. I don't normally check the the date on chocolates i didn't realize it went out of date so quick so yes that's a tip when you're buying chocolates check the date on it so this one was fine because it's the, t the second of the first which is next year but the big box of chocolates is going out of date in like four or five days so i'm not happy about that because i paid nearly seven euros for that but yeah so these are like British kind of chocolates that we have in England. So that's why I purchased them for Easter. But 
yeah. I don't know what kind of chocolates my followers like, but I bought the rabbit to show Helen because I just moved out of the way. So that's the rabbit. It stands up and you can have it standing on your table as like a centrepiece. It's like, it looks quite cute as well. You could just put a little rabbit, thingy ribbon around its neck and make it look a bit... Because that's just on the packaging, the, the ribbon. But you could put a little ribbon and then um, put a little name tag for whoever you're giving the gift to. So make a nice little gift. So This is my last unboxing for now and then I'm going to go outside and show you how nice and bright it is. And then I need to go and get some breakfast because my blood sugar is very low. So I want to say thank you for watching and I'll see you. I'll put this on my YouTube again. So...